every nine seconds. I was physically abused by my boyfriend. Speak out. My stepfather's fist hitting my mother's face. He was afraid of his father. If I didn't go then, I'd be dead by the morning. Every nine seconds. Like, nobody deserves to be treated like that. Speak out for yourself. I am a survivor. I'm a survivor. Every nine seconds. Speak out. Certainly, everyone who ever met my husband thought he was wonderful and charming. Until that day, he, he beat me up on the front lawn. We had an argument. He pulled a knife on me, and I was able to get away. Three weeks later, on a Saturday morning, he broke into my home. I was tied, gagged, and raped at knife point in my bedroom in my own home. And I knew for sure that if I did not get out of that house that night, that I'd be dead by morning. My husband used verbal abuse. He was extremely verbally abusive. I was 14 years old when I was in an abusive relationship. My stepfather would beat my mother uh, almost on a nightly basis, and he would do it in front of myself, my sister, and my brother, and I live with that guilt every day. I remember when my, my mom, when she was being abused with my dad, he used to hit her. I used to be very scared. I decided to end it after my eldest son told his guidance counselor at school when he was in seventh grade that he was afraid of his father, that his father had been hitting his mom. I used to say I, I wish I had black and blues all over me so I could look in the mirror and know that something was drastically wrong. I thought if it wasn't physical, if he wasn't in a hospital, if he wasn't having bruises, it wasn't real. But after living it for over 19 years, it really is, and it just, it just crushes your self-esteem. I felt like I was stuck, that I didn't have any other choice. I pretty much hated myself by the end of the relationship. And all I wanted to say was, stop. Why can't you be like other fathers? Why can't you be like all the people you see on TV? Why can't you be just nice? I was a victim of domestic abuse for 14 years. 16 years. Two and a half years. 10 years. All my life. Domestic violence affects everyone. You could be young or old. Rich, poor, educated or not educated. Black, white, Hispanic. It does not discriminate. Every nine seconds. Every nine seconds a woman is beaten or abused in the United States. Every nine seconds someone's spirit is crushed. Someone's hope is lost. You want to leave him, but you don't. Because I didn't want to uproot my children. He say sorry. He didn't mean it. I wanted to have a father for my child. I didn't want to be a statistic. Maybe one day he'll change. But the fact is, is that he's never going to change. You want to scream, stop, stop, stop. This is not right. But you don't. So you close your eyes. You shut your mouth. And the cycle continues. Abuse by a partner robs a person of their hopes, their dreams, their lives. Domestic violence can be a vicious cycle. Children who grow up in a house with abuse often become abusers themselves. Then the cycle continues. The good news is, the good news is, we have the power. We have the power. We have the power to break the cycle. The Speak Out Against Domestic Violence program is amazing in that it will reach thousands, maybe millions of women, men, boys and girls who normally wouldn't even begin to think about the issue of domestic violence. A program like this will probably never actually know how many lives it's reached and better than that, how many lives it'll change. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Take the first step. There are so many people who are ready to help you. You are not alone. I'm a survivor. I am a survivor. Yo sobreviví. I'm a survivor of domestic violence. I'm free, I'm happy, and I'm my own person. I feel like a whole human being again. Now I feel like there is nothing that I can't do. The best way to stop the cycle of the crime of domestic violence is to speak out. Speak out and someone will listen to you. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out. Speak out against domestic violence. Speak out for yourself. For yourself. Speak out for yourself. Or for someone who can't. The only way to survive domestic violence is for others to hear you. Please speak out. Your voice. Your voice. Your voice. Your voice can make a difference.